Hey, Michael C. Anthony here. How you doing? Those of you that know me know that I'm a stage hypnotist, traveled around the world with my show for the last 20 years. Those of you that know me well know that I have been doing sleight of hand and mentalism, things like that, uh, for even longer. And I've come up with something here with the deck of cards that I've never seen before and I've seen everything. And I've showed this to, I know many of the best magicians and magical minds from around the world. And I've shown this on three different continents to many people in the know. And no one's even close to figuring this out. So one person's close, but he couldn't reconstruct. And I didn't help him. He doesn't know he's close either. Um, but I'm going to say it's not a con, it, it's... It's more of a, a concept than a method. And it it's powerful. And because it's a concept, so many different things can be done with this. I'm not going to expose it right now. Uh, in fact, the two other people besides myself in the world that know how this is done, uh, one really, because the other one's my mother, <laughs> uh, but the one person who knows how it's done said, don't show it, please don't show it. Somebody's gonna figure it out. I don't think anybody's gonna figure it out. Uh, if you do, bad on me, uh, because I'll probably release this in some way, shape or form eventually. Uh, but it's, it's powerful, it's invisible, it can be done with any deck of cards. And I'm gonna show it to you here. A little history first. Um, I figured this out accidentally uh, when I dropped a deck of cards and you know out of the box I had the deck in my hand dropped them and I saw something weird happen really quickly and it just got me to thinking and I thought I wonder if I can create something from that and I worked on it. I'm not going to tell you I worked on it forever. Um, there's still a lot of things that can be created out of this uh, but I worked on it for probably three months and again, regular deck of cards, there's nothing gimmicked on the deck of cards like double-sided tape or any of that stuff. You can do this with a borrowed deck and I'm going to show it to you here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to get, we'll use aces. It's, it's a transposition of two packets of cards. I'll tell you ahead of time, no element of surprise. And you can tell people ahead of time what's going to happen. And you can repeat it over and over again until they're absolutely insane. Okay. Um, so aces. Did I pass any? One, two, three. Four. And let's use queens. So we've got busy cards and playing cards. Three. All right. Drop the cards. That's how I figured it all out. Okay. So nothing fancy. I'm not going to do hold the cards in any gimmicky way. These are four aces. Fair. Okay. Uh, nothing strange. Again, it can be done with a borrowed deck. So I'm not here to try and perform or prove anything. I'm just going to show you the concept here and the queens. And again, I can tell you ahead of time what's going to happen. Okay. I'll show both the indexes on all sides. Okay. The queens are going to change uh, queens are going to change places with the aces. I'll keep my hands here. Okay, just so you know, you see indexes on both sides. It's not one of those. For those of you know that. Okay, queens. Okay. Queens, aces. Going to change. 